In this video I'm going to look at how to name ketones. So we've just done aldehydes. Remember aldehydes are classed as carbonyl compounds because they contain the carbonyl group C double bond O which is at the end of the carbon chain. Ketones are also carbonyl compounds but their C double bond O, their carbonyl group is not at the end of the carbon chain, it's within the chain. So in other words, it's going to contain a carbon bonded to the carbonyl group, which is then bonded to another carbon. So there's three to try, just to let you know the suffix, the end of a ketone name is own, not one, but own. So we'll look at the first one. Continuous carbon chain is one, two, three, four, five long. So this is going to be based on pent. Where's the C double bond O? It's on carbon number one, two. So this will be called pentan two own. The next one, we've got a continuous chain of one, two, three, four, five, six. So this will be based on hex. And again, the C double bond O position 2, so this will be called hexan 2 own. The third one, we've got a continuous chain of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's obviously longer than this chain here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the longest chain is 8 long, so this is going to be oct. Where's the C double bond O? It's at position 1, 2, 3. So counting from the right to the left gets us the smaller number. So this fixes carbon number th uh, this carbon at 3. So therefore this carbon must be 4, 5. What kind of branch is this? this? This is an alkyl group. It's an ethyl group. And so we're going to call this 5-ethyl octan 3 ohm. And there's two more for you, slightly more difficult, so again have a go and then we'll go through the answers. So the first one, the problem we've got here is we've got two functional groups. We've got an OH functional group and we've got the C double bond O functional group. So we need to decide which takes priority, which will help us decide which suffix to use and which prefix to use. So I'll show you the rules. So there's the ketone and the alcohol is directly below. So because the ketone is in higher priority, we're going to use its suffix. So we're going to use the end, that, sorry, the end of the name will end in own. And we need to use the prefix for the alcohol. So we basically just class it as, um, as an, an attachment. So we're going to use the hydroxy form for the alcohol group. So let's get into naming it now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So 11 carbons is undeck. So we just think of 1 and 10. So this is going to be carbon number 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is going to be undecan 4 own, and then we've got to keep on counting to find the position of the hydroxy group, 5, 6, 7. So this will be called 7 hydroxy undecan 4 own. The last one, probably a bit more straightforward than the previous one, we've got to establish the longest continuous chain. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 9 obviously wins. So that's going to be non-anone. And we've got 1, 2, 3. So this alkyl group is actually what we call a propyl group. So let's count the carbons now. Carbon number one, two. So it's going to be a non-an two-one. Three, four, five. 
so the propyl branch is at carbon number 5. So this would be called 5-propyl non-an-2-ohn.